This is our first sustainability report as GK and Automotive. So it is the real test of all the work that we've done so far and a real validation of the work that many teams across the business have put in to delivering on our sustainability agenda. Innovating for change is actually part of the DNA of, of GK and Automotive. We are a business fueled by innovators through our engineering teams, through those working on our sites. And actually, if we think about some of the challenges we're facing as a world, climate change, what we need to do from a social perspective, we need innovation. So I think innovating for change is a great summary of what we're going to do as a business to really make sure we're going to have an impact in, in the communities where we operate. It should be a moment of reflection, but also a moment of... I think pride, not necessarily in the data and significant results, sustainability is a long game, but in the pride of exactly how far we've come over the past 18 months. I think sustainability is fundamental to the success of GK and Automotive. I think if we look at the expectations of the, the drivers of the cars we're producing parts for, our customers who we're providing the parts for and, and the, the broader society where we operate, the role that we play in the transition to a more sustainable future, whether it be towards net zero or having a society which is more equal, we have a really important role to play. We started the journey really by doing a materiality matrix. So we wanted to understand what was important to our stakeholders, what was important to our business, and we identified a number of priority areas from that. And then we distilled those priority areas into four key pillars of our sustainability strategy. So our people, how we create a safe and inclusive environment for them, um, our impact, so what is our impact on our communities and what is our impact on our industry, climate action, so what are we actually doing to address you know, the existential crisis that is climate, and responsible sourcing, so how are we really working with all of our suppliers across uh, the many aspects of our products and technologies to make sure that they're aligned with us, that we're learning from them, that we're working together. What really struck me was the amount of work that had been done already. And I think the teams across the different functions in the business, whether it be HR, commercial, procurement, they can actually be really proud of what's been achieved so far in terms of setting the strategy, setting the targets. Reporting is such a good discipline. It makes us focus on what we have and we haven't achieved. And we need to keep the focus on that every year to make sure that we never let ourselves off the hook. We have some ambitious long-term targets, but actually, if we're going to hit those targets, we need to start the action now. So, for example, our carbon emissions reduction target, we want to be at net zero by 2045, but to get there, we need to see action now. So, over the next year, we'll be looking at things like how we can purchase more renewable electricity across our footprint, or how can we better understand the carbon footprint of, of the products that we're selling our customers. A key way that we will achieve our targets will be through collaboration whether that's collaboration across our business between different functions of the business, but also how we collaborate with our suppliers, how we collaborate with our customers, and also in some areas how we collaborate with, with um, broader civil society, whether it be universities or, or, the, or the cities where we operate. It is really important to me that, it, that um, sustainability becomes part of the way we think. I guess what's really important to me is that sustainability is considered. And if we make a choice, we know why we're making that choice. In terms of the future, I think what we need is to move away from having a strategy, to move away from having a programme, to move away from having individuals in the business responsible for sustainability, to sustainability being a part of everybody's day jobs every day and just about the way that we run our business.